Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Yeah, so um, my videos got tampered with on the other end of you know what. And so you can go back and watch those videos now. As far as I know, they're, they're back up for Pisces and Scorpio, okay? So you can go back and watch those uh, if you need to. All right, so we have a King of Cups here who's in love, who tried to cause some kind of hold up here or self-sabotage they wanted you to self-sabotage could be a Pisces it's somebody who's in love with you but they feel betrayed maybe because you didn't want them I mean so they're trying to stop you from ever having anybody or ever being with anybody or anybody seeing you I do feel like this is sabotage online with the with the ten of swords um, yeah ten of swords and the hanged man this is definitely somebody who did this on purpose what is the challenge here what is the challenge here Now they want to apologize because you're still moving forward and you're still getting some kind of a, an attraction to a relationship. Um, they want you to quit, bottom line. You're not quitting. In fact, you may be sending them love instead of hate. They wanted you to be in hate. They want you to show that you're unhealed. But in the Page of Cups and the Four of Swords, you are defying the odds. Despite somebody's best efforts to make it look bad. Like I said, they want you to quit. You're not quitting. Seven of Cups, this was some kind of illusion that was painted in the most recent past. Could be in the last 24 hours. Somebody playing in, playing with justice here. Somebody thinking that they are the one-all, be-all. They're going to get caught. Um, this is somebody who finds you attractive and it's threatening to them. Seven of Cups. It's threatening to them because maybe this King of Cups is somebody they're involved with. Male or female. Or they were involved with because I feel like whatever this is. Okay, they're trying to block justice. They're trying to block something from happening here I get the nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords the truth that you are a single self-sufficient person and that you've cut out the things that no longer serve you and blocked them because of the games they play justice and the seven of wands defending yourself and your truth all by yourself. Because ain't nobody got your back here. Libra energy. God got your back. Remember that. Even when it seems like no one else does. That's what they don't want you to know. They don't want you to see this. They want you to quit. 
He wants you to give up. They're trying to hold on to your shine because they're greedy. And in some way, they are benefiting from this, from trying to make you count change to live your life. definitely somebody from your past or a past life I feel like this might be somebody who chased you into this life with that Aquarius energy in the star it, it, it's like like the story of the Pleiades where you know God had to take them off earth to keep them from getting attacked um, because they had all these hidden enemies can't fight what you can't see or you can as long as you let the divine fight on your behalf and I feel like that's what you're doing here Scorpio you're allowing the divine the rite of passage, passage here this has to do with some kind of divine birthright and that's what whoever these past life people are trying to hold on to they want to keep something that belongs to you especially financially because in the immediate future you're going to be able to stand on your own two feet because you stood in your truth and you cut out some people and things and places and stuff that didn't serve you So you're getting your accol accolades. Somebody's trying to keep that from happening. They are definitely messing with your online presence. Because you're, you're owed something here. Could be a new beginning in love. But somebody is manipulating this. They're doing their best. Somebody could even spoke some magic words over your love life to try to keep you from having one. They will reap what they sow. And your manifestation will happen. Despite anybody's best efforts to stop it. You can't stop the divine. I don't care who you are or what you got. What I say? Two of Cups, hopes and fears. There's a King of Swords here who finds you very, very attractive. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Mostly Libra. Because we did have the Justice card. Somebody finds you very, very attractive and they're, and, and they're coming in to make some kind of offer. they want you and whoever this person is that tried to get in the way wants you too but they didn't want this other person to see you eight of cups whoever this person is that's been trying to disrupt this situation is gonna have to walk away Because there, there's another person here that is sticking up for you, that is um, in your energy already, and there's nothing that anybody can do to stop it. Now, I apologize for my somberness today, guys, but, you know, I go to sleep, and then I wake up, and I, fi and I find my, my videos are all messed up, and somebody's attacked my channel and tried to make me look bad so you know waking up like that kind of puts you in like a kind of a somber mood i'm still here though i'm still fighting i'm still doing what's right so your creativity really bothers this person five of swords they want to stop you from shining they don't want anyone to see you that's why they're putting up such a fight. This could be a Leo. 
or an ex-lover. Could be a friend, could be a family member. But they want you to fight so you don't shine. They want you to act out of character. Five of Swords. But you walked away. You chose the healing. You chose to accept whatever this is and keep going. And as I said in yesterday's video, no matter how many wands you put across my back, I'm going to still keep going. Like it or not. King of Cups in reverse, you could be dealing with another Scorpio or a Cancer. We also have an Empress in reverse. So we have a very malicious, jealous King of Cups here. Could be a Cancer who wants to stop you from healing, who wants to stop you from moving forward. And an Empress in reverse is probably codependent on the King of Cups in reverse for their worth see uh, uh, an empress upright knows her worth an empress in reverse depends on others for her worth and and lives off of other people's accolades so she instead of creating her own creations she uses people puts them to work and makes them produce for her because she don't know how to create anymore she's in reverse and because she's got no love because of this two of cups is in reverse here too she wants you to feel the same way she wants you to fall for the illusion that you're not good enough to be a star. You're not good enough to be with whoever this person is that's coming in for you. So I just turned this around in the deck, but it came out again. This person could be painting some kind of an illusion about you to try to make you look like you can't keep it together. But you do. And because you do, there's a healing taking place between the masculine and the feminine energies. Oh, I ain't gonna say that. So this person is with the person that you're supposed to be with or was with them and perhaps that person got themselves single from that energy and bossed up in their own life and cut out something because it was a lie this is this i'm getting some really jealous malicious energies here they see you, Earth Angel. They see you, despite anybody's best efforts to hide you. To hide your light. They want you to walk away. I can't even put it in any other way. They don't want you to have any, any stability. They don't want you to be independent. They don't want you to stand in your truth. They don't want you to be balanced. They want you to walk away and quit because it's too much. Now, whether you do or not, it's going to be up to you, you know. If it's not emotionally fulfilling and, and, and you can't handle the pressure, I get it. I get it. But if you can, hang in there, babies. This is almost over.
they know that they're out these people know that they're out of time that's why they're if this is like desperation type energy king of cups in reverse and in reverse this is desperation because all their magic spells and all their choices and they did it from a place of uh, of no self-worth so anything that they did by the moon and I feel like they did this by the moon to affect your money to affect your mind to affect your emotions it's a lie so it didn't work this person felt like they had no choice but to do this because of like I said there's desperation here somebody doesn't have any self-worth and it could be somebody who is who's in the public eye so they did their best to try to keep you away from this ten of pentacles with a lie with an illusion behind the moon trying to keep you from getting a solid offer it was stopped if you need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture here because whatever this offer is that's coming in is big and they did their best to try to block it and stop it but it didn't work death in reverse spirit blocked this temperance blocked this and they ain't nothing anybody can do about it. They tried really, really hard though. Pisces Scorpio energy. They tried really, really hard. This person is less than Stella. They are definitely not a nice person. Queen of Wands in reverse. Definitely some kind of witch. Witchy. I'm even getting like, like. Wicked Witch of the West vibes. This person is not attractive. <laughs> Yet they want to abuse their power out of jealousy and hatred for you. They're very, very unhealed. And they're not going to get some kind of deal because of what they just pulled. Four swords in reverse. No rest for the wicked is what I'm hearing. Three of pentacles in reverse and the hermit in reverse. So some kind of secret is coming out. This secret is that somebody has moved on to calmer waters and is now coming to offer you some form of love or an offer of compassion I feel like they know what you've been through what is the two of cups is the hopes and fears spirit I do feel like this person is hoping that you'll accept some kind of apology I think you should accept the apology but move on keep going this person hasn't changed there's new love coming in your life and if you're if you're looking for that great if not <coughs> you know keep going don't give up because of somebody else's reckless behavior king of wands and the knight of swords This group thought they could control you. And like I said, I do feel like this is online. There's at least three people here. You've already cut these people out. You've already you've already decided, you know, it's it's not worth it. All these people in reverse. You you've walked away from that. 
but this is what this is what they're trying to get you to do is walk away from significant relationship and your job so you don't get some kind of contract here that is kind of owed to you due to all these interferences it's something that's going to allow you balance in your immediate future and somebody doesn't want to see that in fact like I said they are doing their best to lie, cheat, and steal and take your ten of pentacles and get you to walk away from it. So they can have it. So they can have the accolades without the work. The illusion's been broken. And they've been stopped in their tracks from trying to put an empress in a tower it's all a lie it's all a lie they want to keep your ten of pentacles and keep you from having a new beginning and getting a solid offer but the illusion's been broken know that that the ethers have spoken and the illusion is broken once and for all. They definitely did something to your money by this new Taurus, Taurus moon that just came in. They did something to your money. They did something to your business. They did something to your ten of pentacles. Because they want you to walk away. They don't want you to see something here. A hidden enemy. We got him. This is somebody who only thought they had power to control this. And if they frustrated you enough, that you would walk away. Time is on your side. Take a breather. Rest and ground. Yeah, don't react to this because that's exactly what they're trying to get you to do. Take the money and run. Theft, trying to get away. Yep, they're, they're out of time. Ego, desire, entitlement. Stopping a repeating pattern. Don't call me. Watch me go. Finding the true self, discovery, and purpose. Echo chamber. Time for me to fly. Time to go. Old habits. No more repetitive behavior. Because you're fist fighting with fire here. You're, you're, it's like you're fighting shadows. You're fighting in the dark. And the only thing you can see is the flame. It's like somebody in the dark throwing a flamethrower. And that's all you can see is the flame. Because they're hiding their hand. They're, they're, they're cowards. Somebody wants to shatter your confidence. Shatter you, period. To keep you from getting any kind of a, a glow up, show up, ten of pentacles, relations, anything. They don't want you to have nothing. This person wants to see you homeless codependent because they are I mean king of cups in reverse king of wands in reverse empress in reverse these people are, are, are have have a very selfish desire to destroy you because you will put them to shame that's all I can that's all I can see. I mean, your angelic energy will put them to shame because you did it all by yourself. Can't block true ingenuity or real creation. Especially an Empress in reverse. You can't do it, Empress in reverse. You can't do it, King of Cups in reverse. Because an empress is going to keep on creating and keep on going. And get in the trenches with her people. 
and fight the good fight. I'm getting that song by uh, Tramp. Fight the good fight, everybody. Every minute, every day. It's our only way. Just keep going, Scorpio. And don't let these people stop you. Create something else. Because this mature woman here, she's really upset. And I think she's about to lose her job. She definitely lost some kind of relationship here because of the path that she chose. Three, three, five, three, three, two. And someone's on their way towards you. This person lost a marriage, possibly a significant relationship, maybe their job, or they're about to, because of a relationship. Because they're trying to block your path, put you in despair. They wanted to take it from you. Ten of Pentacles, and they wanted you to walk away. I don't even know any other way to put that. They wanted to take this blessing from you, and they wanted you to walk away. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Somebody aban somebody is, is cutting this person off because they see what they've done here. Somebody's seen it. They could even have some kind of recording. I, I, I don't know why I'm seeing that, but I'm seeing like a, a hidden microphone or a hidden camera or something of that nature on this king of... King of Cups in reverse, King of Wands in reverse, Empress in reverse. Could have been a conversation that they had. They tried to get your Ten of Pentacles and they're being forced to walk away because there's a relationship evolving into the next phase in healing an inner child. Cupid Zero, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, meeting, hesitation passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, and upheaval, transformation. So this relationship that's coming in, and I don't know if it's, it's a work relationship or if it's, I don't know what this is, but they tried to stop it. And in doing so, ended up destroying their own life and their own relationship because they were so obsessed and jealous at the Queen of Wands in reverse about your life, your path, and your relationships that they ended up destroying everything in their life by coming for you. This is going to be some shocking news. It's going to be something that kind of takes you off guard because you're not expecting it. You're not expecting the truth to come out. It has something to do with your stillness and your purity and your love. Your unconditional love for others. And it's pure. It's pure. It's not fake. Whatever this is that these people tried to portray is fake. Your love is not fake. There's no way to destroy that. This is what they don't understand. All these people in reverse, they don't understand you can't destroy purity. You can't destroy real love. 
You know, I'm seeing that witch on uh, 47 Ronin in this fox, the two different colored eyes. And she's really this uh, nasty, vindictive dragon in real life that manipulates people and plays a damsel in distress when she's really ferocious. Queen of Wands in reverse. This says, First Snow. Before the first snow, the earth is dark and cold. Fallen trees from autumn storms lay haphazardly across the decaying leaves that cover the forest floor. However, when the first snow arrives, the darkness and decomposing soil are replaced by purity that is light and bright. In the sunshine, the individual snowflakes atop the, the, the snowdrifts sparkle with crystalline light. Harsh sounds are muffled. Sharp corners and rugged edges are muted. Everything feels fresh and new. Debris sim seemingly disappears beneath the pristine white landscape. Softly falling snow illuminates the environment and a different and, and a diffusion of swirling forms. At night, in the, lands, in the light of the full moon, for first snow is glowing and serenity silent, turning everything into a, an enchanted fairy tale realm. In some mystical traditions, descending snow symbolizes the transmission of knowledge from a higher, pow, higher plane, the heavens to the lower planes, the earth, that brings, thus bringing purity to the earth. The sacred landscape wants you to know that no matter what has happened in the past, everything can be fresh and new again. The purity of your soul shining through everything that you encounter, you are entering into a period of grace Simply open your heart and know that the best is yet to be. The past does not need to equal the future. Your future can and will be shimmering, sparkling, and bright. Old limiting powers are dropping away. Recurring challenges are releasing. This is a time of redemption, forgiveness, and holy healing. It can't stop the purity of your heart and the purity of your love and the stillness that you reside in and you're not faltering and you're not walking away. Remember who you are, Scorpio. You are the tower. And maybe it's time to drop a house on some witches. All right? I love you guys very much. I have a live stream at 1 o'clock today on my other channel, The Hidden Realms Tarot 1111. If you want to come over and join me, that'd be great. All right. Till then, take care. Love you very much. Bye for now.